So, you want to create a metal text effect. Well, that's going to be some pretty strong characters. Hey guys, I'm Bethesda by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make some metal looking text in GIMP. Um, and it'd be super easy, really, really cool, like, not really, I mean, well, techniques, I guess, yeah, sure. A bunch of techniques kind of combined together that makes the uh, final effect. So let's go ahead, um, I'm going to go to the text tool here. And then we'll just click and drag a box open and we'll just type, uh, in all capitals, we'll just type text. Uh, my, uh, one of my favorite fonts here, which we'll go ahead and just bump that up. It's like 600 or something like that. There you go. Nice. Cool. Um, we're going to, we'll use this. It's fine. And we'll actually go ahead and change the color. Oop, no, we'll change the color to a gray color and we'll add a little bit of blue to it. So the blue add a little tiny bit of saturation, um, something like, uh, something like, like this. There you go. Now I'm going to create a uh, white background so you can see it a little bit easier. There you go. Uh, actually, I might make a make it. I'll make it black. Yeah, I'll make it solid black. All right, cool. So now you can see we have this uh, text font word. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and right click text and hit new layer group and just drag text into that layer group. We get a new layer down here and then hit, hit OK. Perfect. Now we can go to the gradient tool. With black and white selected, make sure that linear is uh, selected as a shape. Make sure white's on the top. We can click and drag down from the top. Uh, wait, I was flipped. <laughs> okay. Make sure this is also not flipped. So make, make sure the, the white is on the left and the black is on the, the right. Go ahead and click down, hold down uh, control, and just click down from the uh, top to the bottom. About right there, maybe. Hit enter. And now we can uh, set the mode over here to the right hand side. We can set the mode to overlay. Now you can see this is going to create a nice little gradient. We can go ahead and do this a couple more times depending on how I want it to, to be. I want it to be a little bit more soft than that. So we'll go ahead and see maybe something like that looks a little bit better. Um, actually, maybe maybe a little bit darker on the bottom like that. Hit enter. There you go. Now we have something that looks like this, which looks pretty good. Um, pretty good start. But we need a couple more things to be done before it looks like metal, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and go to the brush tool. Let's grab a soft brush, the softest brush we have, which is this one. Um, turn the brush size down a little bit until it's maybe about... Hit new layer, by the way. So add a new layer. Once again, new layer. Uh, turn the brush size down a little bit, maybe, so it's like a little bit. We want to get like a nice piece in the top like that, but maybe a little bit smaller, actually. So hold down, um, hold down shift, and then hold down control. So it creates a straight line, and we can snap it like that. Um, pull it all the way over. And now we can go ahead and go to, once again, mode overlay and I can see it's uh, like super bright there which looks really cool um, so now we can go ahead and go to filters blur Gaussian blur and then, then just turn the blur up a little bit so it looks like it's like chrome um, which is really cool so hit okay on that as you can see that looks pretty good already by the way that it is I'll move this up a little bit by holding down um, by holding down shift and control so we can move straight up well actually just hold down control shift doesn't really do much but you hold down control so it goes straight up um, like that move it up a little bit like that cool sure all right now i'll do the same exact thing um but instead of doing that all that over again we can just duplicate this so hit uh, hit right click this the the white layer that we created that little line right click duplicate and then grab the move tool hold down control and just move it down here like that nice there you go so you have a little bit of a uh, lighter edge on the bottom as well as you can see um i might duplicate it again so it's a little bit brighter on the bottom and then just turning down the opacity down a little bit, maybe to like 38-ish percent. Um, that looks pretty cool to me. Maybe a little bit too much, actually. There we go. That's better. All right, cool. Now, uh, with that done, I want to create the. I want to make the center a little bit darker. So we'll go ahead, drag our brush down to even smaller, maybe like 128. Add a new layer once again. Hit OK. Click and drag. Hold down. Oop, make sure this is black. Uh, hold down Shift and Control. Click and drag all the way across. Obviously. Hit uh, mode, change the mode, of course, to overlay. Actually, we might, we might do soft light here. Yeah, soft light looks a bit better. Um, drop the opacity down a little bit and turn the filters, blur, Gaussian blur, up to about maybe 20. And we'll move it up a little bit like that. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I enjoy that quite a bit. Now, one of the last things that I want to do is I want to go ahead and go to... Uh, and grab our brush. I want to make this a hard edged brush this time. We'll go ahead and add a new layer once again. And now what we can do here is I want to go ahead and do something kind of crazy. So, so we make this white so we can see what we're doing. Um, those lines might be a little bit too big still. So maybe on five pixels, maybe, maybe, maybe two pixels. What does it look like if I do two, two pixels? Uh, 
three. Three is fine. We'll do three pixels. All right, cool. So now what I want to do is I want to change the spacing so that when we paint, you can see that it's like more spaced out. Let's actually go ahead and turn it up a little bit more. There you go. So you can see that like it's a little, it's more spaced out and whatnot. Um, so I want to do that quite a bit more. So we'll put it on maybe 2000 actually. 2000 yeah that's that's maybe what i want there maybe um cool 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 i also want to go ahead and turn the dynamics on so we'll turn the dynamics to random as you can see it makes it like smaller and the opacity is different of course and everything and whatnot um that's very cool i also want to apply jitter and we'll, we'll turn the amount of jitter up by way more than that yeah that's good that's good that's good cool um now basically all i'm doing here is i'm just trying to get it so it's as random as possible um, for when we do like this, this next little bit that I'm going to do here. So let's go ahead and turn our brush to black so we can see like what we're doing on top of the letters here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm going to turn this, uh, the sizes back up to five actually. Yeah. Five looks better. Okay, cool. With all that done, I want to go ahead and with the, on top of the new layer that we have, I'm going to go ahead and then just all over top of the, the letters here, I'm just going to go ahead and paint all over top of them. So it creates these little dots all over top of uh, just the letters, basically. Um, so we don't waste too much time. We don't have to do the entire thing. But it's just a nice little way to get some little uh, some little texture in there. And we'll, we'll see once I'm done with this. I'm going to go ahead and actually stretch this so it looks like it's some kind of grain along the side of the, uh, on the, side of the uh, text. Uh, and we're also going to just leave these dots at a very, very low opacity because it gives it, like I said, a nice little texture. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these two letters here. And then we're going to go ahead and, like I said, duplicate one of them. Make it like long and 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 uh, overlay it so it looks like it's like the, the grain lines. You guys know what I'm talking about, about metal or chrome specifically, like brushed metal. Um, looks very, very cool. So we have the T left and that's just about it. Go ahead and do this super simple way to get this done by the way obviously um, but just make sure we turn back the brush settings because it'll be very frustrating if you forget and you're wondering why your brush is acting weird that is why because you forgot to turn it back i have done that multiple times before in the past so it is not just you don't worry all right i think that was pretty good something like that get all the nooks and crannies cool cool i think the team might be a little uh lacking now you know there we go cool now with that done i'm gonna go ahead and go to uh mode Return to overlay, and I'm actually going to flip this, so I make these ones white, like that. Turn the opacity down maybe a little bit. Right-click, duplicate layer. We'll go to colors, invert, make it, make it black again. Turn the overlay up quite a bit, and then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Uncheck the little chain icon here, and make sure the Y is set to zero. And then make sure we put the X to an actual value so that it goes side to side a little bit. Um, nothing too crazy, but just a little bit. So hit OK on that. And then we might, we might actually take this, take this from overlay to like green merge or something. Um, and duplicate it like once or twice or something. So you can see how there's like some kind of textures going on here, which looks really cool. I want to actually go ahead and um, stretch it even more. So we'll go ahead and uncheck that. Make a little more liney. There you go. Maybe this one as well. But as you can see, we got a nice little uh, like line texture going back and forth across, which just looks really cool to me. Um, so let's go ahead and make sure those are a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. So I've duplicated um, the effect again, and I've also duplicated the amount of lines that we have going across by right-clicking and just duplicating the layer. So that's uh, basically all we have here. It looks really, really cool. It looks cool without the lines, and it looks cool with the lines. You can decide what you like better. I do like the dots, though, so I, I think I'll keep those, actually. But um, but yeah, that's basically uh, that's basically it. Looks really cool. Super simple uh, effect to get here. Um, I do want to do one last thing, and that is creating a little outline around the, uh, the metal here. So let's go ahead. And if you have the selection editor open, which you should be able to open up, uh, if you use Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and then the selection editor, if you have the text selected, you can go ahead and just click in there and try and aim for one of the letters and it'll select the entire thing instead of having to do it manually. Um, and then go to sh uh, select and go to shrink and then choose to shrink by like maybe three pixels, maybe, maybe less than that too. I think two might have been good. Shrink, two pixels, nice. Go to select invert and then we'll use our brush once again make sure we redo everything that we uh had did before so dynamics off apply jitter or none spacing turn it down to like 10 um and there we go we can turn the size back up and make sure we go to a soft brush here to the size up uh quite big quite a lot actually and make sure you're on a different layer hit uh, plus new layer make sure on the white color and then just kind of like go ahead and fill in the bottom half of the uh of the letters here go ahead and hit select none 
and then change the, the mode from normal to overlay and now you can see we have a nice little edge on that very sharp edge and kind of jagged so we'll go to filters reshow uh gaussian blur and then we'll just hit okay with the 1.5 there we go very cool we can turn the opacity down if you want a little bit but that is basically how we make the text effect in uh in gimp with some nice like metal looking stuff it looks really smooth without any th any textures on it so i might just leave it without the textures actually um but yeah so hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye